Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Place here back with another tutorial. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sorry for the delay of videos, you guys. I've just been so busy, so I'm trying my best to get some on now. Um, but as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be looking at a UGC item giver based off of minutes or time spent in a game. Now, um, if you're new to this video, feel free to just hit that subscribe button. It means so much. Thank you all so much for 44,000 subscribers. I love it. I want to keep going. Um, but yeah, so I actually did not make this, by the way. This is made by Dev Daniel, um, one of our previous developers who have made uh, Please Donate with me. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys simply how to do this. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get right into this. So first things first, go into the description. Um, all the links are in the description, you know, Discord, everything, models. So feel free to grab this. Um, and once you get this, it's going to pull you to a website or whatever, to the Roblox thing. And all you got to do is just grab it. Now, I don't know why this is. I think this is like the new thing. So I'm guessing it looks like this. You can either hit download or hit get. It's going to be in your inventory. De credits to Dev Daniel. His original thing is right here, by the way. I just like to make my own things because I get worried about um, possible ways of them being deleted on Roblox, which I do not want. Um, but yeah, that's not a good. That's no need to worry about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so let's get right into. This. So you're gonna first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to toolbox, and once you get a toolbox, it should be in your inventory. Or if you downloaded it, you can go to model and hit model right here, and it's gonna like prompt you to open your file. Um, but it's gonna be this first thing right here. Just feel free to just click this button, and it's gonna give you this kit right here. Um, okay, yeah, right there. Um, and so in here, we're gonna look at this real quick. I'll just make this a little bigger. Um, we're gonna read me by Dev Daniel. He just quickly talks to you about how you need to uh, do the things, change the amount of time, and make sure that third party party sells on. And um, you can change the cover image manually in the GUI. Um, but yeah, so this really kind of just goes over everything, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, so what we would do is we would put this in replicate storage. So we're gonna move this down here, and you can hit Control U or right click to ungroup it. Um, there's gonna be a time, minutes, and a asset ID. Now um, I'll show you how to do all this in a sec here. We go to server script. I guess I already have a leaderboard four times. So I actually wanted to go over this. Uh, well, this is reverse, it looks like. So I'll just put that in server storage. Um, so we're good there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, oh, wait, I'm gonna ungroup it. Make sure to ungroup it. And then we have a starter GUI. So I'll put that in there and we'll ungroup this. So, oops, that's where we're going to do that. Oh, it has like a, oh no, hold on. I gotta make sure this button's not. Okay, so um, for UGC, all that kind of jazz. So basically, we're gonna look at a few things here. Um, now, you really wanna pay attention to the time. Um, now this is a data store script giving you guys time and whatever in your game. Now, what I was gonna specifically talk about is um, how a lot of you guys already have this data store. A lot of you guys already have time or minutes in your game. This part, I might need to make a part two on on how to just do this in general, but if I'm right, really just need to make sure you have the time value and it looks like we have actual time um so this is going to be checking like if you're actually in game and this is where it's going to be adding it as you can tell he already has it all commented out um and this is going to be saving the data store value right here so um yeah it looks like it's pretty simple stuff time minutes asset id and then we have the three ugc right here um in the client as you can tell there's the stuff right here so you have to have a total amount of this and it's going to give you the count right here and once you click it you're good now um what he was really talking about is just this image cover right here so all you got to do now let's really go into this so if i were to go to marketplace right now as you can tell um and we wanted to grab one of these wow they got really it's just really getting out of here with all these fake limiteds i love it um actually i kind of like this knife oh my gosh okay so we're just going to grab this. So this is the asset ID. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy that number up there. And once you copy that number, you're going to go to uh, this asset ID right here. And you're going to control V into there. So that what that's going to be prompted to do is probably it, you already programmed this is um, it's going to check for the uh, value in this client box, probably right here. And it's going to prompt that purchase for the uh, yeah, right here prompt that purchase for that asset id dot value so that's going to basically prompt now if you want to make the image label um this is where i think you can go right here uh golden prop knife let's see is there an image i don't know why let's see extend it Tec texture id okay well i don't know where i can see it from here but if you were to okay like this let's say you can kind of like copy there should be an image ID. I don't know where you find the decal from, but 
uh, what he was saying was there's normally an image ID. You just grab it. Oh, texture ID. I think that's right. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't remember honestly. But image label, you just change it to whatever your thing is. So if you have something, just do that. I don't think that's right, but <laughs> I don't know why I can't find the image ID. But you get the point. Um, yeah, that's low-key fire. I'm buying that. <laughs> yeah, so that's a pretty much about it. All you got to do is just, you know, add that in your game. And then, of course, when you play it, it's going to, like, do the thing. It's going to prompt it, and it's going to say, you know, you have this amount of time. So time zero up here. And as you can tell, I have to turn this. You need a total play time of one minute. And it looks like it has a progress bar, which is awesome. So Dev Daniel's just really on that. Um, and yeah, so once you get that time, you're going to hit this. You're going to click buy. And um, you're going to be able to uh, get your free UJC item. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little small tutorial. Thank you, Dev Daniel, for this. Um, but great guy. Um, and yeah, make sure you guys do have your uh, game settings on for third-party sales. And uh, have the data store API on as well. This is always a problem a lot of people have is... API services and um, third-party sales. So yeah, you would click that on and it'd be good. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will see you guys in the next one. Feel free to hit that subscribe, like, and button. I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.